What's going on guys? I'm back. So I feel like it's been forever since I made a video. It's been like five days or something. If you guys didn't know, um, I moved this past weekend and that's why it's been a while since I made a video and I just got internet set up yesterday. It's actually right there. So I don't know what kind of um, setups I'm gonna have in my future video. This is kind of just what I'm doing right now. So uh, my goal is I actually wanna have like a cool, cool stuff in the background rather than a lamp and a Un unpacked box and a, a, a router modem or whatever so um, I want to get a cool background or something um, something that I couldn't do now that I have them all in place um, yeah hopefully there'll be more cool stuff in the background for you guys to look at but as of now this is what I have to work with so my first video back that um, I want to cover is just something short and sweet something that I think you guys should know if you're about to go to basic training um, and also it can kind of ease some of your guys' expectations on what you're going to learn or uh, maybe you don't feel like you're prepared enough you know mentally for basic training and then in this video I'm gonna let you guys know basically everything that you need to know if you really want to uh, learn this stuff before basic training if you learn this you are going to be good to go and you're going to be ahead of most 95 percent of everybody else who's going to basic train uh, the first thing that your guys are going to have to learn is or that you might want to learn ahead of time is the army values the next thing you're going to have to learn is the soldier's creed the army song and the general orders if you want to know what all those are you can literally google them right so the army values there's an acronym uh, leadership loyalty duty respect all this stuff there is an acronym for that that'll help you memorize it it's called leadership um, then the army song you're gonna have to learn that the soldiers creed and the general orders the first week of basic training and at reception this these all four of these things are basically going to be hammered into you and hammered into you and hammered into you and you're going to have to memorize it and in some cases the drill sergeants will not let you eat for example until you say the soldiers creed correctly or you as a, a company or however you organize at your reception uh, if, if you all you guys can say the soldiers creed together and it'll sound good then they'll finally let you go into the defect and get some food and you'll just keep saying it over and over and over again um, and in some cases drill sergeants will come up to you and be like what's the soldiers creed and if you don't know the soldiers creed even if it's day one they did this to us uh, day one of reception what's the soldiers creed you know they'll yell at you or whatever um, they don't really smoke you at reception but um, you could you know you know basically the big thing for us was they didn't let us eat um, at reception basically until we all kind of said the the soldiers creed and or the army song together another thing they had us do was just you know write down the soldiers creed a whole bunch of times and we you know we said the army song as well so I feel like I've said that a few times but the big thing here is that the first week or so at you're at reception and then the first week or two of basic training and red phase this is the stuff that you're going to be really uh, trying to learn and if you don't know this by the time you get to basic training um, you're in a bad spot so what you need to know is all four of those things the soldiers creed the army song the general orders there's three general orders um, and what did I say the army values you need to have memorized all of that by the end of reception okay so because once you get to basic training and a drill sergeant asks you something or ask you any of those like what's your third general order what's your second general order what's your first general order what's the army values you know what is the L stand for in the army values like they're gonna ask you this if you don't know it you're gonna get smoked your platoon could get smoked and you have to know that by the time you get to basic training so get a head start on it if you're leaving for basic training at any time in the future learn what those four things are memorize them as much as you can beforehand you know at the very least like if you're leaving tomorrow or something just start familiarizing yourself with that because um, it'll really help you early on in basic training the next big thing is the rank structure in the army you don't have to learn the rank structure of the air force or the navy or whatever else if you're going into the army learn the enlisted and the officer side rank structure know what the ranks are know what they look like know what kind of positions they hold um, I believe in your future soldier training this is a 
module or something that you have to complete and you have to get a test on or take a test on and pass it or whatever but I know you may not fully understand it just make sure you know the rank structure from E1, E2, E3 all the way up to Sergeant Major of the Army then all the way to General you know from Second Lieutenant General know the rank structure know what they look like because it happened to um, a guy in my platoon drill sergeant asked them the rank structure of the officers start naming it off from second lieutenant up to a uh, four-star general and uh i think he he screwed up somewhere um around colonel or something like that so he did okay but know the rank structure when you go to base training it's something super simple um, I know there's a whole bunch of things or whatever, you know, sergeant, staff sergeant, sergeant first class, master sergeant, you're just like, I don't know. But you will learn it, but um, these kind of things you should definitely know or have a really good grasp on before you go to basic training. So those are some things that I think if you guys learn that, if you guys memorize that stuff before basic training, you're going to be good to go. These two things I'm about to mention are things that I really think that you guys should learn, that you guys should familiarize yourself with. You're not going to be able to um, actually go out and get hands on on what I'm about to say is like an M16 possibly or doing lane navigation. You might not have hands on on that, but these two things you should definitely make sure you understand at least somewhat before going to basic training because when you get to basic, the M16 class, which this is the first thing, learning your M16 or an M4, the M16 class for us, they didn't explain it really at all. They were in this, uh, they were in the, we were in this huge class. The drill sergeant was way up front. I was in the very, very back, like literally the very, very back. My platoon came in last and I was um, fourth squad or whatever. So I was in the very, very back of this room. Couldn't see anything. I had never shot in an AR before. I've shot pistols and shotguns, but I had never shot an AR. Uh, 15 or anything like that, which an AR-15 is very similar to an M4 or an M16. So if you know that, you know a M4 or an M16, but I didn't. So they're trying to explain how to take apart an M16, and I'm just messing with this stuff, and I'm just like, you know, hey guy, can you can you help me out with this or whatever? And you know, I had it wasn't like it was the hardest thing in the world for me, but you know, I learned it, and then I started repeating the process and taking it apart, putting it together and stuff. But you know, things would have been a little bit easier initially um, if I had familiarized myself with an M16 taken apart, which I actually made a video of me taking apart an M16 that I, I meant to show just for my brother, but I thought it would also be good to uh, upload that video for you guys and just show the components, the, the pieces of an M16, like what makes it up, you know, taking it apart so you know kind of what you're gonna get whenever you're doing this, so you're not just completely out in the woods or whatever. Like if you have never touched a gun before, I really think watch a couple videos on how to take apart and put together an M4 or M16. Like I said, I made one, um, and I think that would help you guys out a lot. The other thing is land navigation. Land navigation is another thing that I believe is on your future soldier training and you have to take a test on it and pass it, but a lot of you guys don't really understand it well, or um, maybe you had somebody else take the test for you or something, but land navigation is something I think is important because it is something, again, that might not be explained to you super duper well at basic training and you're gonna be doing it on your own. So you're gonna be out in the woods in the middle of the night, you're gonna be out in the woods in the day, you're gonna be doing day and night land navigation day and night lane navigation so you don't want to get lost in the woods you don't want to get lost in the woods it's a go no go thing so you have to get so many points like four out of, three out of five points or something like that and if you don't get that then you're a no go for that event and you might have to um, take it take do lane navigation again with another company and you could possibly get recycled because you don't know lane navigation so don't be that guy who doesn't know anything about land nav, make sure when you're doing your future soldier training that you understand it, you understand plotting your points because that's a huge part of land navigation is just plotting your points correctly. Plot your points correctly, double check your points, and you'll be good to go. The next thing is just basically shooting your azimuths and everything and make sure your paces are right. Um, sometime in the future, I actually wanna do a land nav video, but that might take a little bit of extra thought on how I'm gonna actually do it. But because I think lane navigation is so important for basic training because it's kind of like an on your own thing and it's a go, no-go event, um, I do wanna make a video 
online navigation specifically. So that is everything that I personally feel like you need to know before you go to base training. Know the army values, the soldier's creed, the army song, and your general orders. Know the rank structure. You should be familiar with an M16 or an M4 just by visually looking at it. Um, familiarize yourself with it just a little. It doesn't, you don't have to be like an expert or anything. Um, and also make sure you understand land nav as good as you can, as well as you can, so that you're not literally gonna be lost in the woods when you get to base train. Everything else um, I don't think is super duper uber important. I don't think that you need to learn, you know, squad tactics, infantry tactics, all this other stuff before you go to base train. You're gonna get taught that. Usually that will be in a smaller group. You'll get to practice, practice things and run through uh, scenarios multiple times before you get to your FTX and you actually try to do stuff. So I don't think that's super important and I think you will get taught that um, better than you will certain other things. But um, yeah, so that's everything that I think you need to know. Everything else, if you are one of those people who wants to know as much as you possibly can, if you've done all of the future soldier modules, there's like 20 of them, you only have to do like 10 or something like that. But if you wanna learn as much as you can, I also made a video about books that you can get, um, you know, like the Ranger Handbook and stuff like that. Like that's a really, in-depth one that you're, you're not even gonna cover all that stuff at basic training or just like the soldier's blue book you can find some of these things online or you can watch the video that i made about it so if you can get those books and you really want to just go above and beyond with what you need to know then that is perfectly fine so that's it for this video as usual it went on longer than i thought it was gonna go so oh well what can i say but um, I'm gonna try and upload videos again a little bit more regularly because I just, you know, like I said, moved. So getting settled in, unpacking, buying a whole bunch of crap, setting up my office here. Um, so yeah, I'll try to get you know back into the essentially every other day upload schedule. If you enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, you think in any way, shape, or form, hitting that like button would be really awesome. If you wanna stick around for some more future videos that I'll be uh, uploading in the future, hit that subscribe button, comment any questions you guys have down below. I've gotta catch up on a lot, of, a lot of comments and messages, and I will see you guys later. Drop.